Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Not an AEG, but a machine that hasn't appeared on my channel in nearly a year, I think. And that's this. The Mega Novatronic W1613. Um, goodness, I haven't filmed much of this machine at all, and I never really talked about the progress or anything of it or anything like that. Um, this machine, whenever I got it, the drum spider had failed. Um, the door glass was pretty much on the verge of smashing, and um, yeah, it was, it was you know, it wasn't in a good state, so it wasn't. It's been a year, and it's took me a year to fully strip it down, fix it, and build it back up. And it's on to its very first test run. The machine had its drum spider replaced, and also the bearings replaced. Um, drum spiders being replaced from that aluminium one that Milo used to a brand new custom made stainless steel one. And then the bearings um, were changed because I put the machine back to I put the drum back together um, first. And um, whenever it was obviously, you know, whenever I got it made, like, it sounded like a horse pretty much because it was rubbing against the door seal. Um, so I um, put it all back together put the bearing cross back on and all with that new drum spider and it sounded really bad again I thought right there's something not right here so I knew it was obviously you know from the bearings I think but I think the real issue was that I didn't lubricate the seal so I didn't but I felt while I had it on bits I may as well replace the bearings anyway so I did um so replaced I got a family friend to do it I've never ever done bearings before and um I don't think, you know, it's still, I guess, a learning curve for me. Um, I did attempt them, and I have the old um, bearing cross somewhere over there in the corner. So I do, and yeah, I I didn't do a very good job hammering the old bearings out to the point um, I didn't get the old bearings out, so I didn't. I ended up buying a new bearing cross, and I needed the bearings done anyway, so a family friend done it for me. I got it back on, I got the seal all lubricated and I got this back together. Um, I think the bearing job is obviously, for me, definitely one of the scariest. So it is, as it's something I've never done before and it's something that can go very badly wrong and if it goes wrong then um, that's you kind of, you know, done for. So I can't, while it's working a year away, um, I don't want to take this time to say, oh, it's fully fixed, it will be on the channel. I want to give it a wee bit, run a few washes in it and just see what happens. Um, I am hoping it's work, it will work and stay like that. Um, it's so far, so good, you know. Um, whenever I took this apart, I cleaned absolutely everything. Um, it was, obviously, it's never had a maintenance wash in its life. And it's, um, you know, it was very mouldy. Um, it still has the old door seal on. And I'll let it work for a bit, and then if it continues to work okay, then I'll replace the door seal before I do my washing in it. Um, I'm just giving it, go give it test loads and stuff like that. I have, I only have the front on, and I still have the sides off and the and the top off. Um, so as you can see, there's the motor and stuff. So far, you know, so far so good. <laughs> For a second there I thought that there was water. <laughs> I was like, did this? Where's that came from? No, there's no leaking, so there's not. Which is really good. Um, you know, but yeah, um, I've got it on the next press 40 wash 800, just a wee slow spin just to give it, um, you know, a go around first. Um, make sure everything's working okay. I got a new door and drawer for this. The door doesn't have a heat shield so it doesn't so I can feel the temperature and check the temperature perfectly fine. On well, that, I've only started it not that long ago. It's already pretty much had temp so the, the heating's very good on it. Um, and then the drawer is obviously, like I said, I got a new drawer for it. Um, it's a wee bit dirty, we can clean that up, no bother at all. Um, thankfully the handle doesn't fall off this one. As we um we broke the old door the old drawer on this whenever we took it out of the house. Um out of its old owner's owner's house. Um but yeah, you know 
I swear I'm quite literally sitting here with my free Mila's feeling like a Mila fanboy honestly for the sake. Oh, it's so funny, but you know. I suppose it really just depends on whether that seal, you know, holds up or what. You know, I think it's it's definitely really scary, so it is, honestly. I've never felt this scare test in a washer before, I think. You know, um, to this extent. Because normally you just test it and I'll be like, yes, it's working. But, uh, but, you know. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Because it is such a nice wee machine, so it is. It doesn't have too much to it, but it does have the really nice display and all, and it, you know, it's just nice. It's really nice. I wish Mila still made these ones, honestly. It's a nice big door and all. It's just a really nice machine. I will film it a wee bit so well. There's a well. I think it makes like a wee bit of a weird noise, but I've noticed that the weird noise it's making, like it's actually from the motor. So it is, um, whenever I put the belt on, I, I got a bit concerned because I was like, gosh, is the burns actually going already? And then I ended up taking the belt off and it sounded perfectly silent. So it did, um, so it's a bit weird. It's on servants now. Of course the jet works absolutely lovely, so it does too. Perfectly spreads down the door glass now. Unlike before, with my low water pressure. Look at that. Just want to check again, no leaking anywhere. The way that that solenoid is, where it, where it connects, the way it connects to the drawer, honestly, scares me a bit. I suppose there's no harm filming the full thing. It's not on for too long. So it doesn't. It's 
goes to deep water levels will be the real test for it in a sense. <laughs> I can't remember, I think Max Rinsel will maybe on in this sentence. Can't really remember. <laughs> Very possible though. I think the drum's dropped a wee bit. You can see the door seal isn't um, that great cleanliness wise. Um, the whole tub and drum was all scrubbed down by hand. So the, um, the tub and the front part of the tub where the heater's on, it's all perfectly clean. It's just the door seal that isn't clean. So it is, I've done all the, hose, all the sump hoses and drawer hoses and all too. I gave them all as best of a clean as I could. So they're all clean, it's just the door seal. I think this door needs some um, wee bit of cleaning too, as it's a new one. I still have the old one, so I do on my storage box.
so I don't know if you can really hear it, but that, like, weird noise it's making, you'd think it was bearings. She was, it's just the motor. <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird one. <laughs> so it is, um... I think the motor's okay on it, though. Hopefully. <laughs> But I think it's a thing with me is whatever way they build them or whatever, you always you'd always think that that like a bearing issue for some reason. I don't know why, but it's the same with my W one. Like whenever you spin it, just finds weird. But obviously, it's the bearings are absolutely fine on them. Um, so that's just going on to our final wrench now. Again, just want to make sure you know we can. Okay, Better be safe, I'm sorry. I know I haven't, I haven't really shown this in a year, and I suppose there's probably a lot of new people on the channel too who may not have even known I had this machine. Um, this machine was my great aunt and great uncle's ma machine, so it was. Um, and they passed it on to me whenever it broke. Um, it was 15 whenever I got it, and it's now, I think, just turned 16. So it is a very old machine, so it is, and it's, you know, it's done very, very well. Very well, so it has. Um, I think if Mego had have sold cheaper washing machines, they probably would have went with another Mego, but Migos are obviously, you know, very expensive, like £700 for the cheapest one. And because of that, they ended up getting a Beko B300 instead. Um... I used this washing machine um, only twice, and um, before I got it, um, and I don't. I used it whenever I was like about seven or eight. So I did um, done a dark garments wash, and I got to see the full thing whenever I was little. And then, um, and then whenever I was about to leave, um, they stuck it on Express. And I think it's Express that this machine was mainly used on. The condition of it, obviously, you know, it wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't great, so it wasn't. But... Let's go 
I think we've had sentimental value, I will obviously I really wanted to fix this. It was the first domestic me I ever used. And then the W one's the second. <laughs> That noise there, it's that one I'm on about it. Maybe the motor bearings are going. Uh, maybe. Don't know. Could be. This is quite an old machine, you know. At the same time, it just hasn't been used in obviously a year. So it probably affects it too. Lighter because obviously the side and also off too. That's the final we see it's been after so often.
load the tractor is also ripped on it so it is a wee tiny bit at the corner. I think something got caught at the front on the spin, like a zip or something like that. And it was smacking against the door very badly at a fast spin. The upper door glass wasn't in a pretty state at all, so it wasn't. It's starting to rain again. Lots is done. Okay. Hang on. I need to shut this door. So it's absolutely shocking at the moment. Yeah? I know. Put it on now. Yeah? Looks like I'm going to be stuck in here for a while. And that's just done. Very nice. It seems to always default to cotton 60. Really good time. Two. Yeah, and it's... So far, we're okay. Yeah. Still sounds the same, lovely. Um, goodness, the heavens really have opened up from that. But yeah, really good. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.